Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get em -ism number 796 for December 7th, 2016. Tonight, tonight I want to talk to y'all about waiting to the very last minute to do something. Y'all know that we probably have all, at one time or another, waited until the last minute to do something. And you know what kind of problems that that can cause. But number one, the real problem is that we didn't do what we were supposed to do when we were supposed to do it. We probably had a lot of time to do something and we saw the deadline coming and we were procrastinating and we have all kinds of excuses for not not acting the way we were supposed to act. And next thing you know, now, now our backs are all up against the wall and if we don't meet these deadlines, then all kinds of crazy stuff that, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that can happen. And yeah, it can give us that adrenaline rush because some people like to wait to the last minute to do things because they like close calls. They like, you know, photo finishes and that kind of thing. Personally, I like a blow, a blowout. I don't like to have any question in my mind about if I if uh, this would have happened or if that would would have happened, then, you know, I may not have been able to persevere. Now, I don't like that in my mind but in practice sure I've waited until the last minute to do a, do a whole lot of things and I it, there have been plenty of times it came back to bite me in the ass but I'm kinda hard-headed just like a lot of other people out there probably watching this video are a little hard-headed so even though even though we may have gotten in some kind of real trouble whether it was like actual trouble physical trouble or whether we got into some emotional trouble over procrastinating and waiting to the last minute to do something, we probably still procrastinated and waiting to the last minute to do something. And procrast I mean, look, listen, I don't really want to talk about procrastination because that's one thing. Waiting to the last minute to do something is another thing because you can strategically do some things at the last minute and they might be things that really work out well for you. For example, like procrastination is when you are supposed to be doing something and you always find something else to do or you're lazy or you, you, you get preoccupied with something else other than doing what you're supposed to do. That's a little bit different than waiting to the last minute to do something. Because like I said, you can strategically wait to the last minute to do something. You can actually make it better. Um, for example, a positive example of waiting to the last minute is when you take a flight somewhere, when you, when you catch a plane somewhere, if you wait to the last minute to buy your your plane ticket and <clears throat> and um, that the, the plane isn't full, then you can get a cheaper rate on a first class flight. Um, like re really, really cheap because they don't want those seats to go unmanned anyway. So I remember one time, one time I bought my, uh, I was coming home from the Bahamas and the flight that we were getting on wasn't full and because because the, the the flight wasn't full we were eligible for an upgrade for twenty five dollars and we were in first class. You can't beat that with a bat. And I had never been on first class been in first class before and I really always wanted to to be and yeah it was great. It was great. You know it's the same plane but the the level of service was really great. And had I not done that at the last possible mu um, um, moment, then I would have been in coach with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And instead, I was the first class cold chilling, watching all my all the other people that were on the uh, cruise with us, you know, walk past us while we sipping and eating and chilling and plush, plush seats. Now, that's the good part of waiting until the last minute to do something. I don't always go that way. You know it don't always go that way. If you wait to the last minute to pay a bill, then you can get sub you'll be subjected to to uh, late fees and all kinds of late fees. You know, ain't nothing worse than having to pay late fees. And people who ha who handle cash like that or who are real, really frivolous with their money, they say, "Ah, right, man, you know, as long as you got the money, it ain't no big deal. It ain't tricking if you got it." Yeah, it ain't begging till you ain't got it no more. You know, so you don't want to get into the practice of paying your bills late or waiting to the very last minute to pay your bills because things can can get messed up and things that you were supposed to pay electronically don't go over well. And next thing you know, you know, a bill doesn't get paid. You suffer penalties and all of that. 
Same thing with uh, a lot of kids. A lot of kids are going to college. We have we have uh, uh, we have children who have started their first semester of of. Well, or just completing their first semester of college and things like that. Now, you know, if you don't fill out those applications in time, if you wait to the last minute to fill out just your, your student aid applications or your housing applications or just applying for schools, if you wait to the last minute, then you can mess around and not get in the, into the school of your choice. So you don't get what you want. And you probably would have gotten what you wanted had you did it in a timely manner instead of waiting to the last minute. Um, let's say somebody isn't feeling well, they're sick and in the hospital and you don't, you don't rush to go see them. You wait till the last minute to go see them and then they mess around and pass away on you. I ain't even really want to use that example, but you know, it's real. It's real. It, ha it, it has happened to too many of us. And then, you know, now we, we're left with a lifetime of remorse feeling like we, if we were the only you know, got up off of our ass or stopped doing what we was doing and went and took care of that thing, instead of waiting to the last minute, we probably would have gotten a chance to say our goodbyes and, you know, give them a send-off that would have at least lived in our hearts and made us feel reconciled. So there are a lot of things that can happen when you wait to the last minute, man. It's not a good look. But it takes a practice. I mean, people wait to the last minute to get up. You know, they keep pushing the snooze button. You know, I'm like a snooze button, you know, uh, activist. Like, yo, man, get rid of that thing. They shouldn't even make him no more. Stop making him. You know, five minutes. Get that bullshit out of here. But anyway, you know, and then you, you wait to the last minute, leaving the house. You find yourself in traffic. The next thing you late. Next thing you know, you have a string of latenesses. Next thing you know, you're getting a write up at work. There's disciplinary action, and next thing you know, you're getting the suspension. Next thing you know, you're terminated. All because you wait to the last minute to do things. You know, when you have deadlines to meet, go ahead and get it over with. That way you can you can move on to more pressing issues. But waiting to the last minute is a practice. It's something that you have to practice. And if you don't practice, you'll never get good at it. You'll never get good at it. So you want to make sure that you practice on a regular basis. That's all I have to say about that. You know, don't mess around and be that... Oh. All right, one last example. Waiting until, the, waiting until the last minute to tell somebody or make your feelings known to somebody that you're dealing with romantically. So you have, you have your girl or your woman, I mean, your girl or your man or whatever, your woman or your man, and you've been playing, you've been playing off of them for a while. You, been being act you've been acting aloof, you've been being standoffish, you've been acting non trusting, you don't want to give, you haven't been opening up, you've been real reserved. And they got sick of that shit and they ready to move on. So they then already found somebody who wants to give them what they want them to have. And um and you waited to the last minute to let somebody know, like, listen, I really love you and I really care about you and you know what I mean? I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it is to make this thing work. But now it's too late because you waited to the last possible minute. And now they didn't got it popping with somebody else because you was acting like a dickhead. You know what I mean? Standing your ground and, and um, you know, trying to be a player. And now they done moved on. And you waited to the last minute to make your feelings. You know, now you in your feelings. You asking them, well, how, you know, me and you was together. How could you start kicking it with this dude and, and but what about me? I thought you cared about me. Like, I did, but you, you was acting like you didn't care about me. Now, when I get, get it popping with somebody else, now you want to come through and start, you know, acting like you really feeling me. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, wait until the last pop possible minute to do something is not the thing to do. You can wind up getting jammed up. There are a few instances where you can wait to the last minute and strategically, you know, win something, get something, obtain something, be able to persevere in something. But for the most part, when you wait to the last minute to do something, you don't have time to make the adjustments to make sure that things are right. You don't have enough time to cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure that you're thorough. Waiting until the last minute takes away your ability to be thorough. 
Because thorough people take care of things along the way. That's what thoroughness is. The Urban Therapy with Sun Show is tonight. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 7.30 for all y'all Central Time people. All right, so tonight we're going to be talking about my man or my woman or whatever ruined my life. What does it take to ruin somebody's life? You hear people say it all the time. Yo, man, you know what I mean? You ruined my life. I, everything was on track before you came along. Everything was going good. And, and you know what I'm saying? that I put, I, put, I put all of my heart and soul and invested everything I had into you and now I'm left with nothing because of you. You ruined my life. But is it real? Are we just bitching? Are we just disappointed and don't know how to handle it? We're going to get into it tonight. We're going to get into it tonight. Somebody ruins your life. Is it real? Is it real, Flash? <laughs> We're the lovers. All right, y'all. Urban Therapy with Sun Show tonight. BlogTalkRadio.com forward slash sun 752. Call in number. <laughs> call in number 319 527 Once again, BlogTalkRadio.com forward slash sun 752. Peace. Holla y'all tonight. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Get with this. This thing going to be on fire. Hello.